Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of November, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to show you all of the pickups that I did during the month of November. We had a lot of great releases this month. We had some sales for Black Friday, so I'm going to take time today to show you what all I got. And this time around I'm going to start doing these by release week. And then at the end, I'll show you what I purchased that wasn't released during the month that might have been on sale. So first up, I'm going to show you a Clockwork Orange. This right here is the Titans of Cult release. I've been getting all of these. Um, so nice to have a new one in the collection. It's got the Steelbook inside. So very happy with that. And then we had a re-release for Yellowstone Seasons 1, 2, and 3 with these new slipcovers. So I picked those up. A lot of stores had these on sale. Um, Target, I think, had these during the buy to get one free sale. Then he got the 4K release for the Guns of Navarone with the slip cover. I know a lot of people have probably had a hard time getting a slip and just got this edition, but I was lucky to be able to get a slip cover for mine. So very happy to have the slip cover edition. And then I did get Pig with Nicolas Cage. I really enjoyed this film. Everybody was raving about it. I couldn't wait to pick it up. It was at a good price and I did enjoy the film. So very happy to have that in the collection. Then we got another great still book from Lionsgate for Hacksaw Ridge. This great looking um, slipcover. And then Disney Movie Club had two new releases. We had Melody Time and Make My Music. So happy with those. And then from Mill Creek, we got the Randolph Scott 12 Classic Westerns. Um, so very happy to have this one with a slipcover. And Paramount Presents had a new release called The Chic. So a new Paramount Presents release during the month of November, which we had a couple of other ones. And then we had a Screen Factory release for, um, called Come True. Haven't seen this yet. Um, I did hear... Um, Pops Movie Dungeon talking about this one. So very happy that I was able to get this one with the slipcover. And then we did get a Disney Movie Club exclusive um, Beauty and the Beast with this nice looking anniversary edition slipcover. So very happy to have that. And then lastly for the first week we did get the original Christmas specials collection, the five holiday favorites. I did an unboxing of this one if you'd like to check it out. It does come with all these um, TV specials. So very happy to have that. So that right there was week one. Also in week one we did get a variety of Christmas um, releases with these new slip covers with the snow globe. I did do a slip cover Saturday for these if you'd like to check that video out. Um, but very nice to have some more additions for the slip covers. Okay, in week two, we got Batman Year One. This right here is the commemorative edition 4K release with this nice looking slipcover. And over in the UK, we got the Outsiders 4K collection of this nice looking box set. I love the Outsiders. We did get LA Story with Steve Martin from Lionsgate. We got Old Henry from um, Shout Factory. A nice western that I haven't had a chance to watch yet. We did get a Target exclusive for Respect um, starring Jennifer Hudson with this um, special slipcover. And we got Four Good Days with Glenn Close and Mila Kunis. So I've watched the trailer for this. It looks very interesting. I think I'm going to like this one. It's based on a true story. So that right there was during the second um, release week. Um, during week three, we got, from the UK, we got the Cinematic Vengeance, some Kung Fu films, nice looking box set from Eureka. We got this great two movie collection of the Brady Bunch movie and a very Brady sequel. I love the Brady Bunch, and I definitely love these two films, so very happy to have this one on Blu-ray. We got a really nice looking still book from Lionsgate for um, Ran. I did an unboxing of that if you want to check that out. Then we have the Criterion 4K release for Mulholland Drive. So happy to have this one in the collection. And then we got two new releases of Maniac Cop 2 and Maniac Cop 3. 
I'm on 4K. These are here from Blue Underground, and I was fortunate enough to get these with the slipcover. We had another Paramount Presents release of Ragtime and of Vanilla Sky. And then we got another release from Milk Creek for Josie and the Pussycats. Happy to have this one in the collection. We got the 4K release for Candyman. We have a 4K release for Mad Max, The Road Warrior. Nice looking slipcover. And also for Beyond Thunderdome. And we also got some still books for both of those. And we got another great looking still book from Target for Wonder. This is another Lionsgate release. I did an unboxing of that if you want to check it out. And then from Arrow Video, we got Sailor Suit and Machine Gun. Um, haven't seen this one yet. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I really like the artwork on that. And then we got the big release for Jungle Cruise. I got the 4K release. I got the Disney Movie Club exclusive slipcover edition for the Blu-ray release. And I got the Target edition. And then I ordered the still book from the UK and it came out last month. So that'll be on my last month's video. Um, also, I got during week three, I got Prisoners of the Ghost Land, the Blu-ray release. I did watch this. I wasn't a very big fan of this one. And I also got the 4K Steelbook release for a movie that I didn't really care much for. Um, but it's, it is a very nice looking slipcover. I do like the artwork on both of these. So I guess that's worth it. Okay, in week four, we got another release from the UK from Eureka called Full Alert. For a lot of good things about this one. Very happy to have that one in the collection. I got a box set called um, For Swallow. Very interesting movie. I did watch this movie and enjoyed it. We got a beautiful 4K release for The Addams Family with this nice looking slipcover. Hopefully we'll get um, The Addams Family Part 2 um, released on 4K. It's kind of doubtful. From Kino Lorber, we got Night Gallery Season 1 with this nice looking slip. From Arrow Video, we got Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. I did watch this one. I did an unboxing of this, but it really enjoyed this 80 slasher film. It was a fun watch. Also from Arrow Video, we got the 4K release for The Hills Have Eyes. We got probably one of the best steelbook releases for Terminator 2. I did an unboxing of this one if you want to check it out to show you what it looks like under the slipcover. The same goes for The Ten Commandments. Really like that one. And I also did one for Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Uh, very happy to have those in the collection. And then also from the Criterion Collection, we got Menace to Society. 4K release with this nice looking packaging. Also a 4K release for Uncut Gems. And for Citizen Kane. So a very big week for the Criterion Collection. Okay, just this... Um, Past Tuesday, for the last day of the month, we had some other great releases. We had Malignant. Saw this one in the theater. I really enjoyed it. Great film. Hopefully you can check that one out. We got the 40th anniversary release of Reds, which I haven't seen. We got Heaven Can Wait, finally on Blu-ray. I love this film. I grew up watching this one. So very nice to have this finally upgraded to Blu-ray. And we got another great release from A24 for St. Maud. I did watch this one back when it was first released and enjoyed it. Um, it's a different type of horror movie. Very painful to watch in a good way. Also, I got Shang-Chi, the 4K release. I got the UK Steelbook. And I got the Target exclusive packaging with the um, art cards. And I got a box set for I Dream a Genie, the complete series from Mill Creek. I did an unboxing of this one also if you want to check that one out. Okay, some releases that I picked up during the month of November from Kino Lorber. I got The Last Man on Earth. I got Theater of Blood. Misery 4K. Comedy of Terrors. Master of the World. The Raven. Cato's Land, Tomb of Ligeia, Dead Man Don't Wear Plaid, 
Golden Needles, Arabesque, and then another release from Aero Video that I got during the month of November is the Giallo Essentials. This is the first box set that they've released for this. Got this really nice looking slip box. So very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, also during the month of November, I did finally get a good copy of the Scream Steelbook in the collection. So happy to have that. Um, from Australia, I got the um, Harry Palmer collection, which I did an unboxing for, if you want to check that out. And from Eureka, I also got Il Grande Silenzio. And I got this really nice box set of Carlito's Way, which I love this film. I just saw it for the first time recently. And this has got the still book with it. So I also received my Krampus 4K release from Screen Factory. It came in early during the month of November. So happy to have that one in the collection. And then these are some of my other purchases, purchases that I did. I did get The Guilty. So I watched The Guilty um, with Jake Gyllenhaal and wanted to see the original. So I purchased this off of Amazon. And I also got On the Rocks. I got um, The Walking Dead, the complete 10th season. Spiral on Blu-ray. Tom and Jerry the Movie on Blu-ray. I got both Escape Room movies on Blu-ray. And then during the month of October, I was showing all of my Screen Factory, Shop Factory still books, and someone mentioned that I did have this one. So I did pick this one up from Shop Factory. Rock and Roll High School, so I think I'm 100% on the still books from Shop Factory and from Screen Factory. Also recently, I purchased this double feature of Identity and Vacancy. I had never seen these before. Someone recommended that I watch Identity, which I did. I really loved this movie. It was really good. Um, it definitely met my expectations. And then the next day, I watched Vacancy, which I also really enjoyed. So very happy to have that double pack. And then also from the Criterion sale, I got Throwdown, Mona Lisa, and Love and Basketball. Now some of the other Black Friday sales that I purchased, I got the 4K release for the Men in Black trilogy. Um, thanks to Pop's Movie Dungeon for um, showing this on his channel. Um, I went and looked at it and the day I got this, it was actually on sale for like around $25. So happy to have that. I did get my Scream. Um, 4k release with this nice slip cover during the month of November and some other blu-ray um, some of the 4k releases that I got from the Black Friday sale I got Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard Godzilla vs. Kong The Shawshank Redemption Mortal Kombat Don't Breathe 2 The Forever Purge Snake Eyes and F9 so those are all of the pickups that I did during the month of November. There were a lot of great releases during this month. Also a lot of good sales. I did participate in some Black Friday sales where I'm still waiting on those items to ship out. Um, so be looking for those videos um, coming out soon. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular month's releases. Let me know what you were able to pick up and maybe give me some recommendations of some other titles that you saw that maybe I missed out on because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give me a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.